I'm great. Fabulous. Better than you are. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> you look so beautiful. <laughs> oh, um, thanks, babe. <laughs> Hello, my love. How are you? Ooh. Oh my God! I, I I can hear you. I think I can hear you. Uh, you Have you got yeah. me? Have you got me? I've got you now. You went in and out, but I've got you now. I've got you, you got now. me. Okay. How are you? Oh, uh, how are you, my love? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I've just noticed we've got matching lipstick on. Oh yes, a, a mm. lovely, a lovely red lip for mm. a very saucy woman. That, that's what I like. <laughs> You're looking absolutely <laughs> stunning. Thank you, my love. I'm in my lovely bedroom, my, my very feminine bedroom, of course, with my good old ginger wall. So, yeah, being great. Thank you. So, you're looking gorgeous yourself as well. I thought I'd better make an effort coming on with you. Well, I thought I'd make an effort, but clearly, clearly, we both won. Clearly, oh, we both won. Absolutely. <laughs> and I see you're drinking as well. So, cheers. Oh, this is the only way. Cheers, my love. This is the only way that I'm surviving quarantine is by drinking. <laughs> God, you are not alone there. I think most of the UK is going to be, um, you know, bordering on alcoholic by the end of this. I know. I'm nervous that there's going to be two, two things missing from the shops, toilet roll and gin. So yeah. hopefully we can still get both at, at the shops, I'm hoping. If we can't get toilet roll, gin will do. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, yeah, out of the two, I think I'd rather have the gin. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you coping with lockdown? You know what? I'm I'm bearing with it. I'm being creative. Um, again, gin is helping. So so far so good. But it's only what is it week two or three? I don't even know anymore. Like where, it's where, the end when of week two, I think. End of week two. Yeah. Mm. So so far so good. I'm thinking it could be the hump moment by like week four. I'll be like, okay, right, I need to get out of the house. <laughs> yeah, because we're definitely hey. not going to be allowed out after three weeks, are we? Let's be honest. Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So we'll, we'll just deal with it. It's fine. It's fine. It could be worse. It could be worse. Absolutely, absolutely. We've got to be grateful for our health right now. Mm. Um, have absolutely. You got, have you got any tips for people watching? Any isolation tips? Oh my gosh! Um, watch watch a good movie every day. Uh, keep laughing. And you know what? I've actually um, printed out. I've got this random Polaroid camera I found in my house, and I printed out a whole bunch of pictures of all my friends. So I'm not getting getting to see at the moment. I've just stuck them all, all over my, my my mirror and over my um, over my pictures as well. So I, I get to see all, all these faces. I actually, that's quite nice just to kind of see all these familiar faces you don't get to see all the time. But um, I'd say just keep keeping in touch with people every day is really important. So that, that's a really Good tip, yeah, say. absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I've never used Skype so much in my life. Oh yeah, and FaceTime. I'm like, okay, how am I looking? Time. Like, I'm like putting makeup on just, just to look nice on the camera. I'm like nice. I'm nice with the neck up. The rest of it is a mess, but for the neck up, I look great. I know so many people are just wearing their pajamas on the bottom and just putting on like a nice top. I'm literally wearing a pair of sweat like sweat shorts that I wear to the gym. For me, I go to the gym. Um, <laughs> just, just literally, and like a nice bra and a jacket. So from the neck up, it's like from the waist up, it's like this is drag. Waist down, it's like builder. So <laughs> amazing. <laughs> well, so let's talk a little bit about drag race. Yes, let's talk about drag race. So you were on the UK drag race. I was on season one, Drag Race UK. Yeah, mentor. And, was, and what's funny was I w we were quarantined a year a year ago this month um, in a hotel because obviously we couldn't go out and no one could know who we were. And now we're back to being quarantined again. So <laughs> this is like a yearly thing now. It's a yearly thing. <laughs> so do they do they do to you what they did to us on Bake Off? They kind of hole you up in a hotel and don't let you talk to people. Yes, that's exactly it. That is exactly it. So uh, we, we would we would be held up in the hotel for a couple of days, and then we would go into the into the workroom do, do the day of filming, um, and then have to, all right, cameras off. Everyone gets shuttled off in, in a taxi, and um, and we're back at the hotel for, for the next day. So yeah, I'm guessing it's the same as Bake Off. Yeah. Yeah, similar. Yeah, we have a week in between on Bake Off where we have to go home. Um, so you're See, like that's doing not, it. but I. So I'm guessing you're going home to practice your, your next showstoppers and that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's quite nice to go home and see the family and stuff in between. So it must yeah. be, you must miss people when you're there. Oh yeah, well, plus I, I don't know about Baker, but there was no phones. So there was no, we had no kind of internet access to anything. So that that's that was quite hard at first. I was like, oh my god, I can't just like 
text message today. So yeah, that was pretty tough. At least I, I would have loved to be able to come come back home in between challenges mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff. But no, we're literally there every day was a challenge and stress oh. and tears and <sighs> laughter and stress. But yeah, it was it was it was great. I mean, I suppose it's the same as Bake Off. Like, you, you, even though you're stressed in the moment, it's so great to do and it's so much fun and. You know, it's just a great experience to be able to experience. I yeah, it's exactly. You're, you're describing it exactly the way I describe Bake Off, like the most stressful thing I've ever done, but also the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, and then, and, how, and how often do you get to do the thing you absolutely love and are passionate about, and actually in turn make makes other people passionate and really inspired, um, and do that kind of you know p- potentially for a living. So yeah, and to kind of put that on a TV show and kind of do it in, intently, I think is amazing. So yeah. <laughs> That is incredible. And how has it impacted your life? Has it changed your life? Oh God, absolutely. I have been, I've been busier like never before. So I've been in drag. I've, I've been more woman than bloke. This, this, this is, this is what's happened basically. I've been drag all the time. Um, even at home, just casually, you know, on the chaise long, you know, a bed essentially, <laughs> a bed with a couple of headboards. Um, so yeah, so you know, it's just been great to kind of work lots. The, the fee for gigs have gone up through the roof, which is amazing. Uh, lots of random like opportunities for, like TV and stage. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still doing um, the whole kind of actory musical side as well. So that's kind of opened up a lot of doors. So I think I think you can agree, like do, doing stuff like this. If you even if you do, don't do that well or you do great, you know, it's, it's what you do with it afterwards. And the opportunities are so endless. And you know, I think we all kind of fit into different niches and different things. And um, yeah, so. The, the way we can kind of cross over drag into like music and presenting and TV and acting and stage and it's just amazing. So yeah, it's definitely changed the life for the better. Oh, amazing. <laughs> you came across so well on it on the show. You were just so lovely. I just felt really like oh, thank like you. I could connect with you. Do you know what I mean? You just had a real warmth about you, which I think Do you know what it was? Because nice. a lot of people a lot of people said that and I was like, that, that's great, because that kind of shows that I was definitely myself. And I kind of went in thinking, I can't really go in and produce myself and kind of create like a character for like when I'm in the workroom. And it kind of, you know, I, I think if you go into a, a reality TV show, I use the word reality in a very, like very thickly underlined of a Sharpie, like it's reality. So if you're not going and being yourself, then what, what are you doing? So yeah, I kind of made sure that I kind of was my, try, trying to be myself authentically. If I was feeling stressed, I'm going to be stressed if I'm being like crazy happy. In the field, do you know what I mean? And I think that's the way you kind of, um, win over yourself and, and what and people actually do do connect with you on, on, a, on a TV show like that because you are just yourself essentially yeah. and that's what people buy into that's what people buy into at the end of the day yeah absolutely I couldn't agree more like, I was always I always try to be myself every week just because like if people don't like you and you're being yourself then you know there's not a lot you can do about it do you know what I mean it's not a lot you can do yeah but if you're being kind of like a, if you're trying to put on like a persona or a character um you know it's kind of like oh god just it's exhausting I think it's exhausting I'm exhausted just watching someone be you know be o- over the top I'm like god calm down for yeah. a second doll. do you know what I mean so yeah thank you so much I'm glad a lot, a lot of people said that and I think that's kind of been my my like you know thumbs up in a way for, for myself um, and what a lovely thing to have a big thumbs up for yeah absolutely it's lush right so we're going to carry on chatting but i'm going to show you how to do something aren't i oh yes and so i'm what, excited so, yeah so you i asked you what you wanted me to show you and you said anything yeah. with confetti <laughs> Yes, I feel like in these dark days, these dark days, we need some colour, we need something camp, and what's better than confetti? I feel like, you know, there's so many weddings being cancelled and parties and that kind of stuff, and I feel like we just need to throw some confetti on people, mm-hmm. and why not better do it through cake? <laughs> <So>. Absolutely, I <laughs> love it. <laughs> couldn't agree more. Um, uh, so we're going to do an anti-gravity huh? confetti cake. Um, so basically, it's going to have like the confetti has been poured onto the cake. Um, oh, amazing! So it's going to be great fun. So I'll show you how to do that as we're chatting. And I'm going to. Would you get... call this a showstopper? If, if Mary Berry, because were you on Mary's Prue. or Prue's? Prue. Prue. So if Prue, Prue yeah. said, "My love, I need a showstopper, an anti-gravity." That's the best Prue impression I've got. <laughs> I need an anti-gravity showstopper. What have you got? Would you pull this out, or would you pull something else out, or would you add more to this? No. I think it's going to be a good one. I don't know. I think it would need to be like probably like five layers with like stuff coming off it. <laughs> I'm excited. Really cool. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So, it'll be great. And I'm going <laughs> to donate the cake to the local hospital when it's finished. So Fabulous. We live on the same road, so for the staff in the hospital, if we can safely get it to them, um, they'll, the cake's going to go to them. So it's going to a good cause, so I'm not going to shove it all in my face. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to start by building the cake, which is basically just um, putting the icing on. Um, mm. We'll get to the fun bit with the confetti in a minute. So all I've done is made two sponges, um, some Victoria sponge, I've levelled it off. Um, oh, lovely. I'm just going to build up the icing. Um, so what, it must have been amazing to work with RuPaul. Yeah, well, scary as well, because yeah. I'm like... <laughs> Scary as well because you know it's like meeting the the ultimate drag queen. I mean, it's like you meeting the ultimate baker. I, I, I'm assuming, like, so like someone who is the ultimate baker. You're like this person is like the top of their game. They're literally they've got the kind of career and the lifestyle you you, you could only imagine would be you know amazing to have for yourself. Um, and you know, and you, I think the show as a whole when you go into it because I'm I'm a massive fan of the show anyway. I love the show. I've I've always loved it from season one. First time I saw it, I was like, I love this show. Yeah. Um, and to go on it and to see how it's kind of made from kind of you know the the ground up as it were it's just amazing just to, just to see it from literally from from scratch and go oh i'm also part of this so i have to kind of pay attention to what i'm doing but also i'm like there's a cameraman doing this rupaul saying this this person's crying what's going on so yeah it's just amazing to kind of see it from all, all angles and i do watch it now with with fresh eyes with new eyes so season 12 that's on now oh, i'm yeah. watching it going Oh my God, I can relate. I can relate to that. Oh, that I can relate to. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. Do you know what I mean? So it's, yeah. very, um, it's a very interesting way to look at a show that you've been a fan of. I, I, I suppose, say for Bake Off as well, you know, they're not they're not too too dissimilar really. Yeah, in absolutely, terms of... yeah. Because people always say to me like, what's it like in the tent? And I'm like, it is actually, you know, very similar to, to what you see on the, on the actual screen, but mm. there's about 30 people that you can't see. <laughs> Down yeah. the middle of the tent, that uh, you know, there's producers and home economists and you yeah. know, cameramen that they that you don't see, and they're like, really? You're like, yeah, there's loads of people in that tent. That you have. No Gosh, and I, and I imagine it's baking in there as well. Like, not, and not just baking cakes, like it's actually like the temperature is baking. Like we're all yeah. sweating. Yeah, literally, <laughs> like I was so sweaty, it was ridiculous. And like the um, sound guys would come to change your camera, um, your microphone batteries. Yeah. And I would literally be sweating one out and my battery pack was down my bra. So, oh gosh! <laughs> like, you know, if I change your battery, I was like, "Yeah, I can't stop. You've just got to do it." Yeah. And then you can see them like, oh, like pulling out the sweat. With more sweat than anything. Mm, lovely. <laughs> I was like, I'm really sorry. Oh my gosh! My husband That's was like, like, "Who's had your hand? Who's had his hand down your bra this week, love?" And I was like, "Well, it's plenty." Yeah. Plenty of, uh, <laughs> I imagine time. their wives or, or husbands are like, why are you yeah. covered in sweat? Well, Who have you been seeing? Oh, it's just, it's just Bryony, you know, oh. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Uh, so who's your favourite drag queen from Ru RuPaul's Drag Race of all time? Oh my God, I suppose the ultimate has to be Bianca Del Rio, of course. Yeah. Um, and I uh, obviously worked with her as well on Jamie in the West End. Of so. Course. Uh, yeah, so so we so we're actually like friends as well. Like I'm actually friends with her, which is which is mental as well. But it's so funny because when I've met a lot of the American queens now, and you and you just realise, oh, actually we're we're the same kind of person. Like we all just do this. We all kind of grow up in this drag, this drag world. You know, it's kind of late late night cabaret club setting, and we all kind of experience the same kind of thing. Um, I think when when obviously they've been on TV and you get to meet them as a, as a as a boy as well as a, as well as a woman, you simply do you like you do kind of put put them on some sort of pedestal as well. But when you meet them, you're like, oh, actually, we're we're exactly the same kind of thing. So yeah, but Bianca is just incredible. She's so generous, so amazing, um, and I literally have got so, such a massive um, like soft so spot for her. Right. Um, even even though she can be quite quite bitchy and quite cutting, but we love it. We love it. It's, she's just hilarious. Um, so I suppose Bianca for sure. But then you know, there's people like Morgan McMichaels who I'm, we're, we're really good friends as well. She's amazing. Shangela Jinx Monsoon, who I really look up to. So yeah, it's quite hard to pinpoint the one. Yeah, who, there's who so many. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I um, is it like a bit of a club like with Bake Off? Mm. All of the former contestants, you all you feel an instant like connection with them. 
So like whenever I meet yeah. any former Bake Off people, I get A, really excited and fangirl all over them. And then, yeah. but then it's like, you're like part of the same like Bake Off family. So you're like, yeah. it's like an instant thing. I think, I think anything, any kind of reality TV show where you're putting a skill towards something, um, you know, if you do it, you're, you and maybe those 10 other people are the only people who know what it's like to really experience it. And, and like, you know, I, I find I get a lot of questions every day, you know, what, what's it like? How, how do we pull? But until you actually experience it, it's quite hard to really explain it's actually like this because because the person you're texting to you can't get a picture because they're only seeing the picture of what they see on the TV screen. Whereas yeah. if you're in the room and you're in the kind of moment with it, then that's that's how you kind of I don't know. It's it, it's it's a special experience that only a few people really experience at that one time. Um, so it's almost like a like a, like a secret club. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> which is great. Absolutely. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. Like, I've been binging on RuPaul's Drag Race in oh, quarantine. Have you? Yeah, because I um and I and obviously the UK one as well. And I I just love it. It's just really like it's really addictive. Yeah. But I've got to say it some is. of the language though. I've got I need I need a translation. Okay, because you can help me out. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean do you mean the swear words or the? Or, no, or no, the no, 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 that I get. It's like it's some of the words <laughs> like what I, that that I get. Uh, what no? It's that like I wrote them down because I was like I don't want to forget. So. Yeah. What what do you mean when you're when you say someone is trade a guy is trade? Oh well, I well, I've actually cause this is hilarious because when I actually got, got on the show, I got so many messages in my first book that I was actually trade, and I was like, oh my god, I'm trade. That's that's great. So trade is basically the kind of person who people would would want to sleep with, essentially. So apparently. I'm very handsome, very attractive. Um, the bear and cub community love me. If you know, if you know who they are, they love me. So, ah. uh, so yeah, like Paul Hollywood is a bit of a, it's a bit of a bear. A bit of a is bear. He? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. A silver bear. A silver bear. <laughs> a po no, a polar bear. That's, that's that's what they call them. A polar bear. If they're all grey or white or white haired, they're a polar bear. Oh my mm. god, I love it. Paul Hollywood is a polar bear. This is brilliant. Paul is very popular in the in the community of of, of the gays. So yeah. Is he amazing? <laughs> very I popular, love that. yeah. I love that. Mm. Um mm. and what was the other one? Fishy. What does it mean when you're fishy? So fishy, well, I, I just found out that fishy is quite quite now an offensive term actually. Is it? So I was like, yeah, yeah, I didn't I didn't realise until until a few months ago. But I think People who use the term fishy, um, it basically describes um, a person who will kind of, kind of look in their drag very very feminine and very kind of real looking. And, and I want to be very careful how I'm wording this. I don't want people to go, oh my God, what are you saying? But it's, it's that kind of thing of looking very very real looking, essentially. So 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 if if, a, if if a drag queen who looks very fishy was to go on stage or walk down the street, you wouldn't necessarily clock that it's actually a, a, a drag queen. You'd be like, oh, well, actually, that that's... A, that's a real one, but I think there's there's a lot of co co connotations with, with, with the trans community. So it's kind of that one. I think that word's kind of being kind of like fleshed out, well, kind of being flushed out of the of the, the language that we use at the moment. So okay, well, that's so yeah, that's yeah, yeah. And I and I, I didn't notice until a few months ago that that a lot of people find that quite offensive. And and I'm like, okay, cool. And after being explained to me, I was like, oh, actually, I can kind of understand that really. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, yeah, I can understand that. And what mm. about cheesecake? Cheesecake has that got another meaning? Cheesecake. Um, I know cakes means um like a nice bum. Oh, but, does it? Um, oh. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. I'm not too sure. I think it's very American. Very is it? American. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The only cheesecake I want is one I can eat. That's the only one. <laughs> Me and, Which, you, me and you both. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'll take a half each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. <laughs> and the tea. What's the tea? The tea. Spilling the tea. Spilling the tea. The, is the full truth, you know. Um, if you've got a re really good friend, if you said to your one of your best friends, um, it said to her, who's, who, who's your best mate? Who's your best mate in the world? Uh, you. Uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. If you Charlotte... What do you think of this dress? What do you think? And she said, "Well, babes, um, I'm not too sure about the dress. Why not try something like this?" She's basically giving you the tea that the dress is 
not that great for you, but she's giving you something else to replace it to make you make you look even better. Oh, I see, I see. So yeah, it's the full truth. It's the full truth. The so full essentially truth. on Bake Off, well, on Bake Off, on those blind tests, oh my God, you got the full tea. If it was bad, you got the full tea from Prue and Paul. <laughs> What's the difference between tea and shade? Um, shade is when it's like on purpose. <laughs> gonna be putting you down in a way okay. but 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 then shade could be um shade could be really fun and really playful or shade could be like i'm gonna shade you now because you've been a bit of a a bit of an a-hole or a bit of a bitch or whatever oh. so you know so yeah so there's two forms of it but shade shade comes in all different shades as well. okay all right <laughs> 50 shades of shade yeah um. absolutely <laughs> and uh what is a death drop um, a death drop is something that thin, athletic, dancery drag queens do. I don't do it because um, I I wouldn't want to um, cause an earthquake in in a club. Um, so or maybe I would. Who knows? But basically, um, the death drop is not actually the, the proper term. It's actually called a dip. So this is the dance move. Which because um, look at me getting all like uh, educational. So. Um, a death drop is called a dip, which actually derives from the club scene, from the from the ball scene in America. And it's a move, I have no idea how you do it, but you basically put a leg up and you fall to the floor and it looks really impressive. And people go, what? People go, wah! They go mental over it. Um, but it's very, it's a very popular dance move um, and drag queens have kind of adopted it to be their thing. Uh, but I, on the other hand, the only death drop I want to do is, I don't know, I'm sitting down with, yeah. with, with a cup of tea. Um, I'm thinking about my my options in life, do you know yeah. what I mean? That's it. <laughs> I would definitely break a hip if I tried to do a test drop. Oh, I'd break two hips. I'd break, I've only got three, but I'll break three hips. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Amazing. Right, we're going into anti-gravity now. Are you ready? Oh my God, so what, so, so what have you done so far? So you so just basically, buttered that whole cake? Yeah, so I've iced the cake, so it was just two sponges and then some vanilla buttercream. Oh, lovely. I just iced it. Like, I mean, it's not perfect. Luckily, the light that I've got on makes it look like it's the smoothest case. Isn't like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not in drag right now. This is all a light. This is all to do with lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, and yeah, so basically, I've got like a wooden dowel, but you can use a sword. Ooh. Have you made this or is this, is this something you bought as well? So I bought this dowel, but you can just use a straw. Um, so oh, it was a straight dowel and then I just kind of snapped this bit because you want that kind of angle. Yeah. Um, so, and then you're going to literally just put that like in the middle of your cake. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. It's exciting. And then <laughs> I'm going to use, I'm going to use this piping bag and I'm going to pipe some, a little bit of buttercream onto the straw, onto, not onto the straw, onto the dowel or if you're using right. straw. Um, and this is, we're going to cover this in sprinkles. And then I've stolen one of my daughter's little paper bags that she likes playing right. with. I'm then going to um, put over the top, stolen on this. Um, oh, I love basically, it. Basically, this is going to like sit on there and look like it's pouring out the, the sprinkles. Oh, I'm obsessed with that. I'm also obsessed that like your daughter just loves playing with paper bags. What? She's very cheap. She's, you must be very happy that she doesn't want all these mod cons and iPads and Nintendos, just, just give her a paper bag. It's great. Oh my God, she still wants all of that, but... <laughs> but she wants to keep the bag it comes with as well. Yeah, she's obsessed with bags. She loves handbags. She loves literally oh, anything wow. to do with bags. She's a girl Don't let her watch. When, when she gets older, don't let her watch Sex and the City or the, or the Devil Wears Prada, anything with fashion, don't let her watch it because she'll, she'll be like, oh my God, what's going on? I know, literally, it would be a nightmare. She's going to cost me a fortune when she's older. I can... Although, it w wouldn't it be great if she became like a kind of clothing fashion designer and then she was on um, Pro Project Runway or something like that. And then we've got a Bake Off mum, Project Runway daughter. I'm, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, I love it. Like a little start, little um, showbiz family. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> so what else do you do other than other than drag? Because you're an actor, aren't you? Yeah, so so basically I trained as an actor in, in musical theatre um, and like straight acting, of course. Um, and I, I I still do that. So I still do that when, when the auditions come up. Um, so yeah, so drag kind of came along Actually, March is my kind of um, fifth fifth birthday. So essentially, I've, I've just had my fifth birthday in drag. Essentially, wow. um, so, so thank you very much. So yeah, so so drag was kind of like at the, 
well, at, the, at a time, it was just kind of like a thing I did on the side, just just to kind of do, be creative, get some money and that kind of stuff. And now it's kind of become like a full-time thing alongside the acting, which is great. But yeah, um, I do a lot of acting, I do a lot of writing. Um, I've just started painting as well wow. the, because of the quarantine. Yeah, because I was like, okay, if we're going to be indoors for all this time, what, what can I do to kind of, you know, just be creative and just be really fun? So I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll just start painting, why not? And I just got like a whole bunch of like supplies and I've just started like painting random things. So, you know, it's just kind yeah. of like a, ni a nice way to relax and be creative in the house while, yeah. while we're locked in for the Absolutely. next God knows how many months. Yeah. So have you found it difficult? Cause you've not obviously like all of your sort of, you know, drag work, I assume involves mm. going out, being in, in clubs, being in, you know, bars and, and places like that. And, yeah. and venues basically is the word I'm looking for there. Um, so have you managed, because um, you're doing some stuff on, on social media though, aren't you? Yeah, so um, so when when the actual quarantine, well, when the coronavirus started really kicking off and, we're, and like, a lot of the bars started closing and kind of cancelling gigs, um, kind of over the next over the few weeks that it was kind of happening so i had a lot of gigs cancelled um a lot, a lot of things abroad as well were cancelled so i was like okay cool what, what can i do um so i've been doing a, a lot of like shows online i've got a show at eight o'clock actually tonight um so i'm doing a lot of stuff online i've started doing an, an online cooking show as well oh i love Vi it yeah called Vin vinegar's lockdown kitchen i love cooking i love food I, I've, I've always said if i ever went to like hang up the jazz to, to jazz shoes and all that stuff ha hang up the wigs i would go into some sort of food related thing so i thought okay might as well just um combine the two the passion for two the, the performing and the comedy with, with some food so um so yeah i've just started uh, vinegar's lockdown kitchen um, and basically basically i'm cooking anyway so i'm basically just filming myself cooking bits and just kind of vlogging the, what it is and that kind of stuff so yeah it's so far so good it's quite popular so far so yes. yeah, you never know you never know there could be a could be a drag cookery show coming at some point. oh my god um, how good would that be can, can you imagine oh my god oh, i'll do okay I'll, I'll do the savouries and you can do the sweets how great yes. would that be you know what we need? A... We need we need you on Celebrity Bake Off. That's what we need. Oh, babe! Oh my God, that would be a dream. That would be, be a dream. It? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's so funny. I did a um, I did a, a charity um thing for like um, acting for others, which is like a charity for um, for helping actors out of work. And I think they're doing great, great stuff now actually, while actors are out of work. Um, and um, and we did this whole like TV, like kind of kind of like a spoof Bake Off show where we went to this this this, this baking tent in um in Clapham, um, and we basically just kind of baked like all these tarts and brownies and that kind of stuff. And 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 I won the competition i won it amazing well done i was very good we we, we made like a full what well, i mean I, I made like a full like mousse tart as well like we made pastry we made mousse to jam i was like yeah i've got all this don't worry nailing so yeah it, nailing it yeah so, so celebrity bake-off would be dream come true so it's, right, it's get me that? on did you hear that love productions producers celebrity Bake -off. love productions get me on bake yeah. off celebrity yeah. bake-off i'll be there oh my god <laughs> you'd be amazing it'd be so fun. i'm just nervous i'm just nervous that if they make me do it in full drag by the end of the day <laughs> Prue's gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Talk about blind test, she'll be like, do you know what? I'll just wear a blindfold. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> uh, can you imagine doing it in heels? Oh my God. Well, what's hilarious is because I said to them, okay, where are you filming? Because I did it in full drag. But I said, where are you filming from? They said, oh, we're just going to film from from the from like the cooking station upwards. So I was like, great. So literally what I'm doing now, literally top half full drag, bottom half jogging bottoms and trainers. <laughs> and they filmed me full body for the whole thing. I was like, great. So oh, you just filmed me the whole body, which was hilarious. I'll send you a link, but it was absolutely hilarious. But, um, oh. but yeah, we, we, we walked around the hills all day, like teaching people how to walk around the hills and that kind of stuff. It was really good fun, really good oh, fun. So yeah. Amazing. Love productions. I'll do it. I'll be there. <laughs> She's ready. She's ready. Right, I'm going to show you what I've done because this lighting's not great. So basically, Wow. The confetti sprinkles on the top, so it looks like they've kind of been poured on. Yeah. And then I've just put some around the edge as well. That is so, beautiful. And it's cool, isn't it? Um, so we'll just put the bag on a minute and adjust it, and hopefully 
it'll work. I've just got, uh, just give me two seconds, I've just got to let my dog out for a wee. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, I won't eat the cake, I promise. Um, um, um. So welcome back, we are back. This cake is gorgeous. I don't think she'll keep this bit in, but I'll talk anyway. Yeah. Very nice kit. I was admiring your kitchen as well. Very nice kitchen. Oh my God, it's so funny though. I definitely won't keep this big because I'll show you how messy it is, right? So look how tidy it is. Right. Tidy, tidy. And then look at the state of that. Babe, this is this is what it is. It's drag, do you know what I mean? It's gorgeous from from this angle, but that angle is a mess. It's fine, it's fine. Literally, <laughs> you just don't, you don't need that in your life. It's just, it's just yeah. I literally have to move everything that way. I love that stuff. red colour. That red colour is gorgeous. It's that cool, is gorgeous. Isn't it? A bit, yeah. A little bit of Spanishy vibe. A bit of terracotta. Oh, yeah. Siesta, siesta. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right, so I'm going to put the bag on. Um, who's scarier, do you think? Paul Hollywood or Michelle Visage? Um, see, I've worked with Michelle so on Jamie. So I know, I know Michelle outside of the Michelle Visage persona. Uh, so okay. I would like, and she's not scary at all. Sorry, Michelle, but she's not, she's not scary at all. Uh, I would say that poor Hollywood is quite scary, but also he's very handsome. So I, I feel like, I feel like it's a justified scariness <laughs> is sexy. It's a sexy scariness. Do you know what I mean? It's the yeah. eyes. It's all the yeah. eyes. I know. I'm scared of you, but I'm also a little bit turned on. That kind of thing. Who who, who were you scared of? Like, I, were you frightened going in? Were you like, oh my god, it's Paul and Brew. Oh my god, what the Literally, hell? Yeah, I was. I was so scared, especially of Paul, because he has this. He walks into the tent, and he kind of just like after you've done your um your challenge, for example, and you're yeah. standing on the bench with your bake at the end. And he comes into the tent even before they start filming, and he stalks around and he looks at your bake, and then he. Doesn't even look at you, looks at your face, then he walks to the next one. Looks at the people look at you and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Terrifying. Oh, you look like you're in a Mariah Carey video. Have you just turned a fan? Oh, yeah, I've just got. Well, you know, I just thought, do you know what? I don't want to wear too much leopard today, but I thought I'd just get a leopard print fan on the go as well. <laughs> I've got like 10 different fans of like different designs of like leopard fan. It's so hot today, though. It's I so know, hot. it's like summer. And we can't go out. <laughs> I know, literally. Have you got a garden? I haven't. I've got a balcony, which I share with, with, with my next door neighbour. And they've got a, a, they've got their dog on there, and the dog is huge. So I'm like, I can't even sit out here really, because dogs would be like, mm, 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 which I love a dog. I love dogs. But you know, you're like, oh, I just want to sit and read a book. Or, yeah. you know, <laughs> I just want to sit and be quiet for a second. I know, I know it's hard to believe, but I want to be just sit, sit and be quiet for a second, if that's all right. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of quiet is what we need sometimes. Yeah. Right, okay, here we go. Now let's see if right, we can make here this. Here we go. Let's see if we can make this look look how it's meant to look. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh I love it. Does it yeah, is that is that working? That really works for me, yeah. Yeah, it does look party gratis. That, that babe, that is gorgeous. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> it's so easy to do as well. It's one of those cakes that like, it looks really scary when you first think, how the hell? Like, you can do it with, it's because with sprinkles, because they're quite fine, it's slightly more difficult to do. But if you do it with yeah. like, you can do it with Maltesers and have like the Maltesers bag. And like, it just looks really cool. It's actually quite straightforward. And I'm guessing you you could even bake some, some, some of the confetti in the sponge as well. So it's kind of like all in there as well. Absolutely, that's 100. That's what I should have done. That's really stupid, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good. I, oh, I was going to do it like rainbow coloured as well. And I forgot to do that as well. Clearly my brain is not fully functioning well, at the moment. Well, this is why, because I thought, okay, I could just say a rainbow coloured cake, but I was like, that's so typical. That's so like, you know, that's going to be so, What's the word? Um, cliche. Oh, good. Expected. Do you know what I mean? It's so cliche. Oh, we've got a drag queen on. Let's do a rainbow. Boring. Let's do a full confetti moment. I love it. It really looks like this is coming out of the bag as well. It's great. I know. I love it's it. A little, little bit of a trickster there. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be gorgeous for, for, for your local hospital as well. Yeah, they'll love it, I'm sure. Yeah, well, the NHS are doing an amazing job at the minute, so... Oh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. We applaud just, you. I mean, just, just, just the stories that have been coming out, because I've got a, a couple of friends who have been have really come down quite bad with it. Luckily, they're OK. But you just think, oh, my God, the amount of the amount of work they've, that the NHS are putting in at the moment, oh, it's, it's just incredible. So, yeah. 
big claps for them. Big claps for the NHS. Bravo, bravo. Yes, absolutely. Um, Right, so give me something positive, I think, for the end of this. Let's have some positive vibes. Yes. Uh, what, What are you excited about doing this week? Um, I'm excited for writing, well, starting to write um, my new show. I'm just going to write a show just so I can come out of this whole thing with a show to go on tour with and put out there and kind of, you know, do do what I want to do and just kind of get out there and kind of make make people happy, make people laugh, make people smile or feel, or feel horny, you know, either way, I'm happy for them to feel any emotion. Um, so, yeah, so that's definitely something I'm, I'm excited to start this week. It's been on my list. So I've cleaned everything. My, my main thing was clean your room, clean everything, and then start all the work. Amazing. So, yeah, that's, that's definitely my main thing I'm excited to do. So when, um, do, you, when also, do you hope to go on tour? Oh God! Um, whenever I can. I mean, if, if I can do say like the end of the, the end of the year, or, even though I've got pants over the year, but uh, you know, um, yeah, sometime this year maybe, or if not, start of next year. That'd yeah. be amazing. Just to kind of start off with a bang, hopefully. Amazing. But, yeah. And what? We where shall can see. people find you on social media? Where can people follow you? you? Can, oh, you can follow me on all social media. You can follow me on Instagram mainly, which is the only vinegar strokes. Twitter, the only vinegar. The website is the only vinegar Or if you're a handsome man, grinder, I'll be there waiting for you. Message me. Send me a pic. <laughs> Can we say that? Yeah, I'm send so friggin' Luli. <laughs> send me your cake. Send me your cake. That's what I want to see. <laughs> amazing, Vinegar. Thank you so much for chatting Thank to me. Thank you, my love. It's so good to meet you. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Have a lovely day. See you, my love. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>